Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss nested loops in PHP. We must understand the concept nesting of loops because most of the complex problems are solved using nested loops. If required, we can place one loop inside another loop, which is called as nesting of loops. If required, we can place one loop inside another loop, which is called as nesting of loops. We can put a for loop inside another for loop. We can put a while loop inside do while loop. We can put a while loop inside for loop, which is called as nesting of loops, guys. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss loops with the same maximum values. For every iteration of the outer for loop, the inner for loop is going to get executed n times here. The statements inside the inner for loop are going to get executed n into n times, that is n square times. Such for loops are also called as quadratic loops. Here I have an example program to explain. For i is equal to 0, i less than 2, i plus plus. For j equal to 0, j less than 2, j plus plus. Echo hello world. You can see that both of them have the same max value. This hello world is going to get display 2 into 2 that is 4 times. Let's have a demo and understand step by step. I go to vamp server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say for $i equal to 0, $i less than 2, $i plus plus, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. Here I say for $j equal to 0, $j less than 2, $j plus plus, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. Inside the inner for loop, I say echo, hello world, and then move the cursor to the next line. If I execute this code, we are going to see hello world displayed four times in the browser. I say file, save, go to browser. Here I say localhost forward slash default.php. We know that localhost points to vamp server www directory. Within that we have default.php file, right? To execute it, I must say localhost forward slash default.php. I hit enter. You see that default.php file is executed. We got the output hello world four times. Let's understand how this code is executed. I'm going to copy this code. I go to MS Paint. I paste that code here. Let me format it little bit properly so that I can explain it clearly. We know that for the outer for loop, this is the first part. The condition part is the second part. This body is the third part. And this is the fourth part. For the inner for loop, this is the first part. The condition part is the second part and this body is the third part and j++ is the fourth part. We know already how the for loop is executed. You must remember the flow of execution of the for loop. That is enough to understand this code. When the PHP engine visits to this nested for loop, first it executes i equal to 0. It creates one memory location for i, puts the value inside it 0. And then it goes to the condition part, checks the condition whether i is less than 0 less than 2 is true. As the condition is true, it has to execute this body. The control comes inside. j equal to 0 will be executed. So PHP engine creates another memory location for j, puts the value inside it 0. And then it goes to the condition part, checks whether j is less than 2. 0 less than 2 is true. As the condition is true, it has to execute this body. Echo displays the hello world in the browser and moves the cursor to the next line. After executing the third part of the inner for loop, the control moves to the fourth part of the inner for loop, j++. j value will be incremented by 1, it becomes 1. And then it goes to the condition part of the inner for loop, checks whether j is less than 2. 1 less than 2 is true. As the condition is true, it has to execute this body again. Echo displays the hello world. After executing the third part, control moves to the fourth part of the inner for loop, j++, j is going to become 2. And then it goes to the condition part, 
checks whether j is less than 2 2 less than 2 is false as the condition is false the control comes outside here you can see that the entire body is executed when i is 0 you see that we got the hello world displayed two times that means the inner for loop is executed two times after executing all the statements the control goes to i plus plus that is the fourth part of the outer for loop i value will be incremented by 1 and then it goes to the condition part checks the condition whether i is less than 2 of course 1 less than 2 is true as the condition is true it has to execute again this body comes inside again j equal to 0 will be set so j is going to be reinitialized back to 0 and then it goes to the condition part checks whether j is less than 2 0 less than 2 is true as the condition is true it has to execute this body echo displays the hello world and then goes to j plus plus j value will be incremented by 1 j becomes 1 it goes to the condition part checks the condition whether j is less than 2 1 less than 2 is true as the condition is true echo displays hello world and then goes to the fourth part j plus plus j becomes 2 checks the condition whether j is less than 2 2 less than 2 is false as the condition is false the control comes down you can see that when i is 1 we got the hello world displayed two times that means the inner for loop is executed two times after executing the entire body of the outer for loop the control moves to the fourth part of the outer for loop that is i plus plus i becomes 2 and then it checks the condition whether i is less than 2 2 less than 2 is false as the condition is false the control comes down and executes any statements you can see that the hello world is displayed four times so this code is executed 2 into 2 four times that is how the nested for loops are executed guys if i come back here and say 3 and here i say 3 how many times the hello world will get displayed guys 3 into 3 that is 9 times we see hello world i say file save go to browser and refresh you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 times the hello world is displayed such loops are also called as quadratic loops guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again try the code yourself experiment and trace and understand everything clearly in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about php nested loops for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial